<laughs> what are we gonna talk about? <laughs> Welcome to episode two. Good talks. Uh, uh, Earthbound Motherthon. Welcome to this uh, Chub Boy 3000. The mother of all marathons. Oh shit, it's a pun. I didn't even realize it. Mar motherthon? The yeah, motherthon. Ma ma matherathon? That's, matherathon? My, that's my specialty, man. You gotta just trust me with the word puns. Why can I not find anything now? Um, cause you gotta kind of like oh I think I think that tree right there. Uh, that's, that's the game's natural border. Oh, well, maybe we should build it all around it. There you go. The one thing that this Earthbound game has on the rest is you know? that the music is the best. I do like the jazziness. It's gonna make me want to snap. Do little snaps. I can't play and snap. Wait. You really only need, just need the. Uh, wait, I'm, I'm a beat. Yeah, I'm not really paying attention to these fights except for my HP. Nah. No. It's gonna get to the point that you don't have to pay attention, mm. but you still need to grind because the next area's enemies are way too strong. Well, it can be worse than sitting at the DMV, so. Oh, Crow gives me some problems though. So Crow, what Crow's an asshole. Crow? Starts Crow laughing, throwing shit at you. Look, he's wearing shoes. Oh my god. <laughs> Where, what size are they? He's a crow, probably like five inches. Five inches? Oh, dude. He wears like little baby shoes. Shops at Baby Cap. What's even weirder is in the Japanese version, he's holding a cigarette. Nice. It's a very cultural thing, isn't it? The Japanese. Oh, cigarettes. yeah, everyone in Japan smokes. Or did. I don't, I'm sure it's kind of dwindled. That's a, a gross. Um, <laughs> what, what's the word? Gross. A um, gross uh, overstatement. Assumption. Or, yeah. Yeah, because I'm sure. Well, that's how they portray. I mean, they portray Americans as like burger eating, happy, fat people. You know. I mean, I'm, I'm sure the Japanese. Just from what we see, like back then, they used to smoke a lot. I don't know. It's just a stereotype, you know. Well, I mean, what I saw in Japan is like it's a very. Um, you're gonna die. It, it's a very. Oh. Uh, Wait, I don't have anything. Well, hopefully you level up right now. You know. Oh my God. Okay. Oof. Thank God. Really threading the needle here. Right in the lightning. What the heck? Why Did you I miss? <gasps> I know what your problem what? is. What? You never equipped your baseball bat. Oh, yeah. I was can like, I do why it now? is. No, I don't think you can, but hopefully you don't die. He's ready for an attack. There we go. Smash him, boy. Smashing and dashing. Yeah, I didn't no wonder you've been struggling. I didn't put breadcrumbs. You goofy goober. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't crumb it up, dude. I'm gonna, I might die. You might. Unless but, if you just. So like, if I die, do I just... does it take me back to the house, I'm guessing? I think it does take you back to your last save point. Oh crap. Oh, that makes sense. I'm too far away. I'm scared to walk, dude. Yeah, you better be. I am scared. Wait, do you have any Can goods? I eat my bread? Well, you... God damn! There's your plastic bag that you've had this whole time. How do I equip? Uh... uh good. Set up? Plastic bat. Use. Use the bat on my head, please. There you go. Smash pray, my head pray, in. Pray to God. I can take anyone on now. Ah! Uh! Oh, my anus was clenched. <laughs> it's tough, dude. All right, mom. Yeah. Um, I know I just ate, but like, please make some more spag. All right. Well, the good thing is, it's gonna be a lot easier now. Cause I got the bat. Yeah, I've and gone you up. through the tr the trials and tribulations without the bat. Now it's just a cakewalk. Oh. <laughs> You don't How have many any friends? friends? She's like your sister, except in this game there's no delivery service. I don't like, remember their uh, name. Damn, that sucks. So you'll always have to come back to her if you want to... Leave. Okay, leave, sorry. I was thinking too hard. Utmost care. Yeah, I don't need this anymore. Give her the no. diary as well. You'll need it later, but not yet. It's one of those cryptic things I gotta use it for. Yeah, it's, it's one of those cases where it's like when you discover that you need it, yeah. You'd have to come all the way back, or even remember like where you left it. Please tell me there's a teleport. There is, but much later in the game. Oh man, yeah. it's gonna be a lot of walking then. Yeah. <coughs> Get well. used to it, but it does give you an excuse to grind. Yeah, that's true. Maybe that's part of the the whole thing. They like kind of force you to grind. Nah, they just didn't <laughs> know what they were doing. <laughs> Like, I know that sounds mean, but, like, the guy who made this, I don't think video games was his forte at the time. I mm. think he was, like, a, a copywriter, like, a musician. Like, he was, he's, like, a jack-of-all-trades, like, loved by a lot of Japanese people, and then he tried his, you know, hand at video games, so, mm. you know. I mean, he did all good, obviously, because this is, like, a, a cult favorite. 
eh, I'd say it was more the writing and the emotion, not so much the game itself. Oh, like, like the gameplay, you know? Yeah, the game itself is like... <laughs> wait, I'm 31! Oh, wait, never mind. Uh, See, there you go, now you're kicking ass. You made him quiet. And I feel like Mother 3... Break damn kneecaps. <laughs> <laughs> when Mother 3 came out, um, he had a better team. Uh -huh. So, like, that's what, you know... Plus he had experience at that point. Yeah. Just like I have 34 of it, so... <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get up there soon enough. He had to beat his fair share of crows, you know? <laughs> to get to the the Nintendo level. Yeah, he seemed like... You said he was a musician before this? Let me pull it up. Cause Let's learn about Shigesato. That's crazy. Like, those people are, are insane to me. that They're just able to, to be... like. I mean, we talked about it before, like Toby Fox. And yeah. how he was able to basically create a whole game on his own. And it did fantastic. It was a, it's now a cult classic. Um, yeah. I mean, I've played Undertale, and maybe at some point we'll do an episode it. on Undertale. That'd be cool. I mean, because you still got to do the pacifist run, which I feel is still better. Yeah. Than you know the the generic and or uh, genocide run. <clears throat> I just wanted to murder everything. Well, look I don't at, blame you. Look at the game you're playing now. Look you, at this guy. Kill, I want to murder him. You, you kill everyone, <laughs> and then I go to Undertale. Like, what's your gut instinct to, to continue what you've learned from to murder? Murder everything. Um, everything so Shigesato walks. Itoi is a Japanese copywriter, essayist, lyricist, game designer, and an actor. But at first he was a copywriter? I don't know. It's a good question. He was like an Einstein or what? Or not Einstein, uh, Thomas Edison. <laughs> Copyright Thomas Edison stuff. is a hack, apparently. I've heard. I think, isn't that why the light bulb's like the, like his invention, quote unquote, because he copyrighted. I could be totally wrong. I'm, I suck at history. <laughs> well, I mean, you have the right idea. Something like that. Some famous. Okay, so old during dude. the 1980s, he established the profession of writing copy for advertisements among the general public in Japan. And then he started writing essays. So he's always been good with words. Writing yeah, okay, essays, so that lyrics. Explains, yeah. And then he started designing video games, which. Like, you know. At the time when this game came out, I highly doubt he was the one who programmed it, so I don't think he's necessarily responsible for all the shortcomings. Mm. I just think he lacked the vision that, like, you know, Shigeru Miyamoto had. You know, like, he would tell people how he wants things to go, mm. but, you know, grinding and all that stuff at the time was common, so he wouldn't have been like, oh, let's change that, like... Yeah, he, well, because that wasn't his thing, so he was like, oh, we should just stick to what works, kind of thing. Yeah, like, other pioneers, and also, you could fit only so much text into these games that True. you kind of had to pat it out with gaming, or grinding, grinding gaming. That makes sense. Kind of feel like you get your money's worth. Ooh, yeah, so like, this game will take you, what, seven <clears throat> hours to beat if you know what you're doing? Which um, I don't. <laughs> which you don't, <laughs> that's not a... but that's where the crypticness comes into play, that it adds hours to the overall gameplay. Plus, uh, of those seven hours, how much of that is grinding? So the main game itself would be like what five hours that's pretty short yeah if you like if you know exactly what you're doing yeah as you said well that's what we got a guide plus you know pretty much the ins and out for and even then i got a guide it. yeah <laughs> i'll be busting on my phone because like back then well you had to buy a guide i'm guessing or else you'd be dumping like 20 plus hours into this game trying to figure it out pretty much because like when i played earthbound like earthbound right Ooh, this kicked us hippies end. okay the what this damn leftist is attacking me. <laughs> um, yeah, because like, uh, when I played Earthbound, which I believe is Mother 2, um, yeah, you know, halfway through, uh, I I don't know. There's just stuff like like how would you know? And honestly, I have no clue. How would you how you would figure that stuff out? Like the what was the orange kid and all that? I had no clue. It was even worse for Americans because Earthbound came with a guide because they oh. knew that people here weren't gonna get it as okay. well as people in japan who have like rpgs have just been a thing in gaming for ever pretty yeah pretty much so um yeah no it's um even as a fan like i've never been able to beat this game without a guide mm. and i wouldn't want to because there are points where it's just like too much so, like crypticness or toughness like some Grindy. of the dungeons are just massive oh yeah and the graphics are so simple that it just looks the same everything just looks the same that was sort of the case i i think i ended up getting through but in earthbound earthbound um they have that mole cave that you kind of go into you know what i'm talking about at the beginning no it's like towards the center after, like right before four side and in two the desert side. yeah the desert there's the mole cave yeah and they're all like oh we're the third strongest one <laughs> you know that whole bit yeah um that cave was like really confusing and 
I think I eventually just kind of figured it out, but it's like one of those where it's like, you would need, in theory, oh god, this guy's too strong. This is worse. Yeah, oh, it's got the strong music. I'm gonna kick this dog's ass. So that Rich is, is gonna kick this guy's ass. <laughs> Don't send me to jail. As we, as we wrap this up, for our next episode, we are going to be heading into town. Richard is ready. I um, don't condone dog abuse, but you know I had to do it to him. beat that dog with a bat, You know I had to do it to him. And when we come back, we will... Kick this hippie's ass. We will kick this hippie's ass and go into town. Yep. Yeah. Oh!